Okay, so in this video, I just want to go over how to get started if you're uh, either a new player or you're a player that's playing for the first time after the update and you don't have access to uh, very many items and you don't have any money or what have you and you're trying to get the ball rolling but you're having difficulty. Now, if you're a pro player who's like, I don't even need any sanity, I can just run in there and I'm good. This video isn't for you. It's for the average or new player who's just having trouble because they have no no money or and the items you're restricted on what items they can use. So um, I kind of came up with a strategy how to play with just the starter items and make good money and, and get the ball rolling because I kind of ran into that problem. The update happened. Um, and I, you know, I didn't have sanity pills and all these other, other things I was used to, and it was just making things kind of difficult, uh, to get my levels up. And so m my strategy is to, whoops, let's adjust the, my strategy is to use a custom difficulty level that takes into account that situation and adjusts the different settings for that. Um, so... Part of what I'm going to do on the custom settings is I'm going to make the ghost really deadly. You know what? I'm just using the starter items. If I die, I don't lose anything. I, I have nothing to lose. I'm just using the starter items. So let's just crank that. Let's tra crank the ghost difficulty up. You know, it's going to be really deadly in a hunt. Uh, but the idea is uh, we'll get in there, figure out the ghost and get out before the ghost hunts and kills us. And we're going to get the reward multiplier up pretty good. So you can see here, uh, it's almost four times. So it's actually more than what uh, professional difficulty would give you. Um, so let's let's just edit this. Hit edit. So uh, I, I leave my starting sanity alone. But I get rid of the sanity pill restoration. Like, you don't have any sanity pills, and you're not going to have access to them for a while. So you may as well just take it all the way down. Uh, but we want to keep our, our um, starting sanity. And so that's really the on the first tab, that's the only thing you're going to be messing with, is you're just going to take that, um, that sanity pill restoration away. So, like... You know, you can see we get quite a we get quite a bit for uh, getting rid of that. Um, on the ghost, so there's two things I I'm doing. I'm making the ghost kind of uh, good at hunting you because we're gonna we're just gonna try and avoid hunts altogether. Um, but I don't want the ghost moving around. I want the ghost to be easy to find, and I don't. So I've got uh, roaming frequency low, and I've got changing favorite room to none. We want, to make, we want to be able to find the ghost quick and easy because we don't have sanity pills or nothing and we don't want to waste a bunch of sanity just wandering around not knowing where the ghost is. So uh, along that same vein, event frequency is set to high. Um, I set the grace period to zero, the hunt duration to high. Uh, we're just going uh, gonna to get this done before the ghost hunts. So we're not too worried about the ghost hunting. So we may as well we may as well uh, get some reward out of that. Um, the fingerprint chance I have at 100 and the duration at 120 seconds. So 100% chance for fingerprints, 120 seconds. I, 120 seconds seems to be the sweet spot. If you go past 120, then you get hit, you get dinged pretty hard on the rewards. Um, but below 120, it doesn't cost you you know, it, it doesn't cost you much to bring it up to 120. So, may as well make the fingerprints easy to find. So, we got that 120. Um, then, over on the contract side, uh, setup time zero, heavy rain, door starting open high. I don't, I've found that I really don't care too much about this uh, since I've got. Since the ghost isn't roaming and it's not changing rooms and the activity is high, you know, the, the ghost is going to be touching doors and throwing items and messing with stuff quite a bit. So I'm really not worried about this. And we're also going to play on a small map. That's also a part of it. So I'm not really too worried about the doors. May as well get some reward for that. Uh, hiding places, we don't really care. You know what? Let's just take it down to none. You know what? 
look, we're over 4.13. Because, like I said, we're going to go in, figure out the ghost, and get out. And we're, you know, we're going to try and avoid hunts if we get hunted and we die. Oh, well. Uh, we got nothing to lose. Activity monitor off. Uh, I, I like to have the fuse box on just so that the th thermometer starts working right away as opposed to having to go find the fuse box, turn it on. Uh, it takes a little bit for the thermometer to start working. Let's get that thermometer working right away. Let's not waste time looking for the for the um, fuse box. And it doesn't it doesn't really cost much. You can see, you know, it doesn't really cost you much. Um, I'm not worried about the fuse box. We're playing on a small map. Uh, we're doing everything on a small map really quick, so not worried about it. Now, curse possessions. You get a you get a good. You can get a, uh, a decent bump out of this, taking this out. Um, you don't really have the sanity. It comes back kind of like to the sanity pill portion. You don't have a lot of sanity to waste on cursed possessions. So, you know, may as well just take it off. Uh, now, if you, now, if you get to where you, you have uh, access to a photo camera and you can bring a photo camera in to get pictures, then maybe, maybe you want to turn this back on. But at the beginning, when you don't even have a photo camera... Hey, may as well just get the report reward points for it. Um, and so that that gives you more. That's four times. That's more than what professional gives you. So we're gonna make pretty good money off of this. So uh, I'll go ahead and I'll just do a round and just show you how I play. And again, this is meant for like the new or average player. I mean, yeah, if you're a pro and you can just go in there with uh zero sanity and one piece of evidence then you might this might this isn't for you <laughs> you know you have you probably if you're if you're that type of player you probably have better things you can do but for those of us that are just an average or new player i think this works really good so let's uh do a round and i'll show you how how i play with just the starter items All right, so you're going to want to use a small map like Tanglewood Drive or Willow Street. I'm playing on Tanglewood Drive, and as you can see here, these are the free starter items that you get. they give you. If I die, I lose nothing. I was given all of these items for free. I like to start out with, uh, I like to grab the notebook, the thermometer, and the flashlight. Um, some people might be like, why are you picking the notebook? That's kind of weird. Um... Sometimes the ghost can be finicky or it can take a little while for them to write in the book. So I like to get the book down as quick as I can. Um, Alright, so we're going to go in. And all I'm going to do here at the beginning is I'm going to wander around with the thermometer and try and figure out where the ghost room is. We got the activity and whatnot set to high, so... We have good odds of hearing the ghost do something. Um, the thermometer should start working pretty quickly because uh, we started with the fuse box on from the very beginning. So we don't have to mess with the fuse box and wait for the fuse box to work. Just watching the thermometer and listening, listening for the ghost doing stuff. Doesn't appear to be around here anywhere. Alright, let's try the living room. See if we get anything in here. Not seeing anything. How about the bedroom? All right, maybe it's one of these rooms. Try the bathroom. Oh, I heard something. I heard something getting moved. It's this room. All right, this is the ghost room. You can see the thermometer moving. All right, I'm going to leave the thermometer here. Let's put the book down. Let's get the rest of our items.
Whoops. <laughs> if I can get in the truck. Uh, you know what you want to bring in next is, you know, it doesn't really matter that much. Oh, he's messing with the door. I should probably go get the, um... I'm gonna drop this stuff. I'm gonna go get the uh, glow stick right fast. Let's check for fingerprints. And we set the uh, the fingerprints to a hundred percent and a hundred and twenty seconds. So if he's messing with the doors, it if it's fingerprints, it should be pretty easy to tell. All right, not see, not seeing anything fingerprint wise. Let's drop that. Starting to see our breath. Um, as the EMF. All right, let's check the thermometer. It's getting down there. It, it may end up going below. It might go below uh, zero. It may end up even freezing. All right, let's check the spirit box. Where are you? How old are you? Where are you? How old are you? Where are you? How old are you? Where are you? Okay, it doesn't look like it's spirit box. Let's just double check again. Yeah. I don't think it's fingerprints either. We might get, we might get down there on that. All right, let's start setting up for dots. There's the bone. I'm just gonna grab it. I didn't. I don't have a photo camera, so. Whoops! <laughs> It'd help if I pointed it the right direction. All right, let's go get the dots. How's our sanity? Ninety-one. He's playing with the guitar. Uh, where's my EMA? Oh, ghost writing. Not seeing nothing there. Oh, freezing temperature. So we got ghost riding and freezing temperatures. Let's go outside. Maybe we got dots or something. Oh, I don't know if I set that dots very good. I might have to adjust the dots. I don't think I set the dots down right. Let's see what we got here. You know what? Let me go fix the dots right quick, and then we'll then we'll then we'll stare at the monitor. Okay. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. There we go. We can watch for dots and ghost orbs. Well, let's see what let's see what we what's possible. Could be that. Could be that. All right, it's not dots. I should have checked that before I went in there. I guess. All right, it's one. Of, yeah, it's one of these four, right? So the only thing we're really looking for here is ghost orbs. I guess I didn't really need to mess with the dots. All 
Ah, oh, dot. There are, I mean, ghost orbs. All right, it's a revenant. So we got it. We don't have we don't have a camera. Let's just go. Let's see how much money we got out of that. All right, that wasn't very hard. Look, I we did it at eighty seven percent. See, easy, easy 800 bucks. And so that'll help you get through those first few levels and um, get some stuff unlocked. And I guess my, my thought would be the first thing I would start buying would be the camera. You know, get some money built up, get some levels, uh, get access to the camera and buy a camera. And then start taking pictures of the bones and the book and all of that stuff. That way you can get a little bit, you know, a little bit more and and then you can grow and, it, you know, get those levels up. All right. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments or, you know, if you have any thoughts or ideas for people uh, to help them get going, put them in the comments. Uh, I look forward to reading them and I will see you all next time. Bye bye.